Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner. Today's poem is from this book, Selected Poems of Matthew Arnold, a Victorian poet. Many of his poems I didn't really find very hopeful, but I rather like this. Um, in these times when we've been encouraged to get out and see nature and help nature heal us, I thought this had an air of that about it. And it's also about Kensington Gardens, which is a park I am very fond of. And it's called Lines, written in Kensington Gardens by Matthew Arnold. In this lone open glade I lie, screened by dark trees on either hand, and at its head, to stay the eye, those black-topped, red-boiled pine trees stand. The cloud sky is still and grey, through silken rifts soft peers the sun. Light the green foliage chestnuts play. The darker elms stand grave and dun. The birds sing sweetly in these trees, Across the girdling city's hum. How green under the boughs it is, How thick with tremulous sheep cries come. Sometimes a child will cross the glade To take his nurse his broken toy. Sometimes a thrush fits, flits overhead, deep in the unknown day's employ. Here at my feet, what wanders pass, what endless active life is here, what blowing daisies, fragrant grass, an air-stirred forest, fresh and clear. Scarce fresher is the mountain sod where the tired angler lies stretched out, and eased of basket and of rod, counts his day's spoil, the spotted trout. I, on men's impious uproar hurled, think sometimes, as I hear them rave, that peace has left the upper world, and now keeps only in the grave. Yet here is peace for ever new, when I, who watch them, am away, still all things in this glade go through the changes of their quiet day. Then to their happy rest they pass, the flowers close, the birds are fed, the night comes down upon the grass, the child sleeps warmly in his bed. Calm soul of all things, make it mine to feel amid the city's jar that there abides a peace of thine man did not make and cannot mar. The will to neither strive nor cry, the power to feel with others give. Calm, calm me more, nor let me die before I have begun to live. Thank you. Don't let me die before I have begun to live, which is something perhaps one can get in the quiet of the natural world. That kind of hope, hope for peace. For more poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you.